Uh, my question is very simple. I want to bring back Chicago into the innovation food equation, if we could, for a moment. I would like to know briefly from anyone on the panel, when you look at food trucks and you look at shared kitchens, where the barriers for capital and ideas and bravery are lower for women and for minorities, where innovation can truly take place within food, uh, we are not leaders in food trucks. We are not a leader in shared kitchens. I would like to know what you see for the future of Chicago innovation and our region when it comes to food truck, when it comes to shared kitchens, and when it comes to women and minorities being represented. Thank you. All right, Linda. Oh, thanks, Howard. That was awesome. Um, you know what? I think that we've got we've got a problem but i don't think it's a chicago problem Be, i mean we operate all over the country and we see this all over the country um the uh, food industry, um, at least w as far as innovation and startup goes, is extremely siloed. I think people tend to be very protected. I think protective, and I think that you can apply that to the urban ag scene here in Chicago, where there are a lot of um, individual efforts, and you just wish that everybody could just go into one building, kind of like the plant. But I mean, where everybody, it, there's a lot of duplication of efforts. And then we, it's just sad because you see people just run out of money and go out of business. I mean, I have two friends in that space who went out of business just this year. Um, as far as the women thing, if somebody could please tell the city of Chicago to let women-owned businesses actually get certified, that would be awesome. We got rejected. I mean, it made me crazy. Uh, so I think that um, I think if there were ways um, to be able to aggregate all of our talents and ideas together, trust each other, and come together under a spirit of collaboration, that would be wonderful. And I think if the city could lighten up a little bit and help us out a little more, that'd be great too. I agree 100%. As far as food trucks are related, it's all it's dismal in my opinion, and it's all based on city regulations, and we've not been able to change the health department's mind. Um, I, I don't see a bright future. Shared kitchens, I think what we're going to pr probably see is a lot of pop-up restaurants. Um, people sharing kitchens to do pop-up restaurants around town. Um, I'm not going to touch the woman thing. <laughs> <laughs> just to, just to anyway, give the other... Women, women and minorities in my business thrive. <laughs>